What's up everybody? We are back. We are continuing right where we left off. Uh, we have got to figure out right now how to open up that hatch up at the top where that uh, ventilation shaft is at. That's my best thought uh, as to what to do here. So, we we'll probably need to go back up there and inspect again. Our random, uh, what I'm assuming is bugged fella is just kind of chilling there. I don't know what he's doing. He's just kind of standing guard. Little creepy. But that's alright. Out to the deck we go. I'm thinking we head up. We need to improvise. Now, I was thinking that you could potentially use a penny partly as a screwdriver. I mean, I've used a coin, I've used a quarter to open something up before too. You know, like little toy battery boxes and stuff like that. I, I don't know if... Like, I, I don't know how strong it would be or if it's possible but it might be worth a try so what if I did this to this mm. the penny might be the right that space. is a damn good guess then again it's the only interactable object we found so far so it does kind of the penny fits perfectly into the screw slot but my fingers aren't strong enough to turn the screw. I know what to do now. We take the penny. We stick the penny with the tongs. That's it. I can jam the penny in and make an improvised screwdriver. Bam. Now it all makes sense. So then we take the screwdriver. Right. And open this up. Look at that. Oh, like a pro. it. I just hope that this is the right shaft. <laughs> that would not be fun. The pole alone won't help me in there. But we combine this to this. Hmm. I could tie the bath towel around the pole, put the pole across the ventilation shaft, Quinn. and climb down with the help of the towel. Oh my Sounds god. Like yes, it is a plan. That's a fairly good plan. Look at that. Like, how many movies have we seen that do exactly that, huh? Here goes nothing. In she goes. What's she freaking out about? Ah, Jakob Aust. I finally got you. I'll have them arrest you, and justice will be done. Can I be of assistance, madam? Yes, you can get out of the way. Shall I tidy up, madam? No, it's time to celebrate. Okay, so the Baroness was on to something. The coast is clear. That is a long towel. I want to see what she was looking at, it though. It seems like she was searching for a specific photo, and that she actually found it. Jakob Aust, now I've got you, she said. So who is we that? We've got our hands on the list of passengers, but I don't recognize the name. Somebody else who's in there with a... Hmm. Impressive for a quick drink on the go. Oh, what, she's got a lot of goodies in here? Oh my god. Gin, whiskey, liqueur, sherry, vodka, brandy, and champagne. Every bottle is at least half empty. She's been busy. Cool. Bottle opener, coaster. I can't use any of these. Why not? Could be something useful. Hmm. More bottles. Might be the good stuff. Wow. What's that? A small leather strap. Aha. Oh, what do we got here? To me, it looks like a combination lock. A good one, too. The so door here's the only hidden spot. opens when the right symbols are in place. If only I knew three of the four symbols, I could easily guess the last. But whilst I don't know at least three of them, 
I can't go any further. Well, why not? If only I. But what? Okay. Well, then I should. Hmm. Nefertiti, Guernica, A.D. Buonarotti's Adam. This could be a memory aid for the Baroness, and it would explain how Inch discovered the combination. I'm going to copy the hints. Hmm. As I see it, I have to decipher these clues to find three of the symbols. Then I can guess the fourth. Well, Nefertiti was an Egyptian queen. Right. The monogram and the two other clues aren't much help. I'd put money on the eye of the Sphinx being behind this door. Uh -huh. I don't think anyone would bet against me. Uh -uh. If only... But what? Okay, so I can't... Okay, I'm gonna have to figure that one out, I guess. A suitable glass for every huh. occasion. But most of them look more or less unused. The Baroness probably disregards style and etiquette when she's drinking alone, and just uses the same glass. Well, that is efficient. Alright. We gotta think about that one. The Baroness wrote something down and took the slip of paper with her. Oh, it's probably not important. It's important enough. Tell me about the photos. Hundreds of black and white photos. Many of them tinted. From the 20s and 30s, I guess. Oh, I don't have time to deal with them. All right. Don't get all huffy. Uh, let's keep looking for stuff. The I mannequin guess. could probably wear my clothes. It'd disappear under the Baroness's clothes, though. Ouch. As That's a child, hurtful. I often stood in front of shop windows and tried to stand as still as the mannequins. But when I got bored, I claimed that one of the mannequins had blinked. And declared myself the winner. Hmm. <laughs> um, okay. Gonna find something around here. I'm sure that the eye is in the Baroness's luggage. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to solve that, but we can't because it wasn't giving me any actual options for like a puzzle or something that I can manipulate. Oh, there we go. What's in the handbag? I'm here to steal one of the most valuable jewels in the world. Not to swipe the contents of handbags. But why wouldn't we see what's in it? Luckily, I don't have to go through all these suitcases. But Inch why has been not? traveling with this woman through Europe for months. <laughs> I almost feel sorry for him. Almost. Oh, jeez. They are hateful people. Okay. So, we've kind of canvassed the whole area here. Uh, whatever it is, is in there. That's it. We have to figure out... I must have missed a click, or I must have missed something. I wonder what the Baroness is running away from. Loneliness? Disappointment? Grief? All of the above. Alright. Well, the only option we've got is to interact with this puzzle again. If only... But why... If only... But why... Yeah, but see, why can't I... See, I can examine the mechanism all I want. But it won't let me actually play with the symbols. Like, let me... Let me click something. I'll brute force it if I had to. Uh, I guess the game's not going to let me. Alright. Up, up we go, I guess. I see. Okay, he just set the tape recorder. That is why he was standing out there. He was waiting. Yeah. Okay. Well, we knew that all along, that he set that. 
What on earth is going on here? I don't like that. Is someone else after the eye as well? But even if that is the case, what does the audio tape have to do with it? I can't let it get to me. I have a job to do. Hmm. Maybe it was a steward who checked whether everything was ready for the Baroness's nightly rest. Whoever it was, I should leave as fast as possible before someone comes back. No, that was Dr. Gebhardt. And he put the little blood pack in there too, didn't he? Yeah. Uh-oh. Am I going to be able to get out of here? I'd prefer to lock the door. Someone could come in and catch me at any moment. But it's important not to leave a trace. Inch absolutely cannot find out about us. I must hurry. Well, get me out of here. Apparently I can't, uh... No. I'd better leave the cabin as I entered it. Somebody might see me if I go out through the door. Well, here's a slight problem then. I can't reach my towel that I pushed up into the top anymore. And it still won't let me do this. I've copied the hints into my diary. Oh, Maybe different. someone on board can help me to figure out at least three of the four symbols. The doctor, the um I've copied Maybe Okay. Get me out of here. But yeah, 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 yeah. I, I understand what I have to do now. Kinda. What I don't understand is how I'm supposed to get out when she's closed the the hatch. Oh, maybe this? Oh. Uh, that's kind of an issue. So I'm actually trapped in here because the towel is missing. My only option is to open the cupboard. Is this a bug? Oh no, here we go, slide the chair. Okay, Oof. there we go. I was just being dumb for a moment, sorry. Although I had moused over the chair before and it didn't give me anything to interact with. She has got some arm strength. Okay. So we need to find somebody who can tell me about those symbols, and who better than the Professor Guy? Yeah, that's my plan. Professor Guy is at the back of the boat. Or, that's the front of the boat, I'm sorry. The front of the boat. I'm all confused it and turned around. Bull, curling, shuffleboard. All the same to me. I'm not interested in any of that now. Well, okay then. Professor Lucian could certainly tell me everything there is to know about Nefertiti, but he might also realize that I was in his museum in London. I'd better not talk to him. Ah, uh, well, there goes that Professor idea. Luc but Professor Lucian. What about the old woman? The old woman's a good bet. There's nothing there, even though poor Zellner's stuck down there right now. But that does explain why the, the creepy doctor was standing in the hallway there. I think it the game may have been a little buggy and, and putting him there before it should have, but... Okay, yeah. Now he's waiting. It seems like Dr. Gebhardt was able to wrestle himself away from his work, but he still doesn't seem to be very relaxed. Quite the opposite. And why yeah, don't he go to the saloon? Well, let's find out. Let's aggravate him a little bit. Dr. Gephardt! Getting oh some fresh air? Oh, you could say that. Do Tell you know anything. the Egyptian queen Nefertiti? Uh, yes. There is a famous bust of her. Really? Tell me more. No, I, I am sorry. I, I do not have time for that. Does guy? Guernica mean anything to you? Now listen, young lady, I do not know what they told you, but just because I am German, I am not responsible for the crimes of my government. Crimes? What are you talking about? <laughs> we obeyed orders. 
just like everybody else. Now leave me alone. Alrighty then. Do you know what the monogram AD stands for? What? A capital A with a small D below it. Yes, I do. Will you leave me alone if I tell you what it means? Yes. No. It is not just any monogram. It is the first. Albrecht Dürer, a German artist, signed all his works with it. He was the first artist to sign all of his work with a monogram. It was not common to do so before then. Hmm. Are you sure? His wooden engravings were, and still are, printed billions of times in Germany. Billions of times? You're exaggerating. Not at all. His work appears on German marks. And what? That's enough. I told you what you wanted to know. Who is rustling Please, around? Leave me alone now. Like, what's all that rustling around noise? Dr. Geb. Yes? I still want to bother him a little bit more. Buenarati. No idea. Don't know him. But... Try your luck somewhere else and leave me alone, please. Thank you. <laughs> I ought to be going. Thank God. <laughs> yeah, he's a little, uh, he's a little annoid. Let's see what we got here. We the got poster posters. proudly announces the ship's first Atlantic crossing. The city of New York welcomes the MS Lydia. Hooray! The silhouette of New York and of a ship, but not of this one. They probably use the same template for every ship. Looks pretty official, with a coat of arms, flag, seal, and all the trappings. And the poster is clean as a whistle. Someone seems to cherish it. Hmm. The silhouette of New York and of a ship. Look. Hmm. Okay. I don't want to mess with whatever it is. Who is rustling around? Like, I've looked around. I don't see somebody. I don't know. We could bother the old lady again. Lady Westmacott? Yes. I hear you're well versed in Egyptian history, Lady Westmacott. Can you tell me anything about Nefertiti? A queen. The main wife of Akhenaten. Did she have a favorite animal? What a strange question. I, um, just heard that they really adore cats in ancient Egypt. Well, that's true, but I don't know whether Nefertiti had any special affinity for animals. Hmm. Does Guernica mean anything to you? Why are you asking me all these strange questions? I... <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> How shall I learn if I don't ask? Pick up a book. Oh! Are you interested in art? Not really. I'm more interested in real life. In people. So, you don't know Albrecht Dürer? Uh, just because I'm not interested in art doesn't mean that I'm ignorant. What can you tell me about him? Books, my dear, books. In them, you'll find the answers to all your questions, even the most foolish ones. I bet you don't know anything about him, and you just want to cover it up. Ah, you want to appeal to my honor. <laughs> Too obvious, I'm afraid. Oh my god. I saw a sign in Venice. It said, Buenarati. Do you know what it means? I'm sorry, I don't speak Italian. May I take my leave? Captain you does. Me. Excuse me, Captain. He's sweating. I hope the crew... He'll be able to answer the, um... Hello, Captain DeConte. Let me answer Miss one of them, for sure. nice to see you. You look beautiful. We missed you at dinner. I was in my cabin. I, uh, I didn't feel very well. <laughs> oh, I hope you're feeling better. Oh my, look at all these options. Well, the one I'm most curious about. Buena Roddy. That sounds Italian, doesn't it? Ha! You can say that again. Buona Rotte is the name of the greatest artist of all time. Michelangelo Buona Rotte. Who most people only know by his first name. Uh -huh. Just imagine. One man, an Italian, achieves perfection in all three movements of graphic arts. His David is the most famous statue in the world. As an architect, he was a genius. He built parts of St. Peter's Basilica. And as a painter, 
Michelangelo painted the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel. The mm. creation of Adam. The spark of life leaps from God to Adam. One of the most famous paintings in the world. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. And the that's... Sistine Chapel, Apostolic Palace, Vatican City. I don't know any animals associated with them. Animals? Oh, it's a game I used to play. My father posed me a riddle, and I have to guess an animal. <laughs> and Buona Rotis Adam was the hint? Hmm. Maybe he meant Rome. According to legend, the founders of the city, Romulus and Remus, were raised by a she-wolf. Hmm. No, that's too vague. Does Vatican City have an animal on its coat of arms? No. And the Pope? Every Pope has his own emblem, but the new one doesn't have an animal. You don't seem to like the new Pope. It's too early to say. <laughs> but who's fit to hold a candle to John the 23rd? Il Papa Buono, as we used to call him. The good, the good pope. pope. He just died recently. What was his heraldic animal? He was a lion, and so was his heraldic animal. For a Catholic, Buonarroti's Adam could be a mnemonic for the lion. Pope John XXIII was elected in the Sistine Chapel like every other pope. A work of art hints at a coat of arms with a lion on it. Hmm. Maybe. I'll make a note of lion. Alright, we got somewhere. Captain De Conti? Yes? Tell me Lovely about Lady Westmacott. concert, wasn't it? You only heard the end. It was really wonderful. All the more curious that Lady Westmacott embarrassed Mr. Kreutzer like that, don't you think? I have no idea what got into her. They say she's a difficult person, but this... Maybe it's the privilege of famous people to be a bit strange from time to time. <laughs> when I was still a young sailor, Enrico Caruso was a passenger on our ship. <laughs> and he... I think she's fascinating. She's achieved so much, and all by herself. Lady Westmacott. Oh yes, that's true. The most successful writer in the world. Do you know any more about her? Everything. <laughs> I'm her biggest fan. What do you want to know? Family Novel's Journey. Where is she from? Man, there's they a lot of dialogue parents. options her with this guy. Her father was a wealthy British salesman. Her mother died in childbirth. She had an outstanding education, but was a lonely child, they say. Her father was away on business most of the time. I know how she feels. For many years, my father's career was also more important than me. Don't say that, my child. Your father paid for the life you now live. Did Lady Westmacott's father marry again? Yes. A woman 15 years his junior. Go ahead. She didn't really care for the child. She was something of a high society lady. She made the headlines with her antics more often than the family would have liked. Huh. Her novels. How did she come to be a writer? In interviews, she always mentions her French tutor, who encouraged her to write when she was a child. After some poems and short stories, she began to write detective novels with a great success. The rest is history. The experts are arguing whether she or Shakespeare has sold more books. Although she doesn't receive the same deference. That's true. But her books are much more innovative and extraordinary than people generally give her credit for. Huh. And what does an elderly lady like her want in Egypt? I couldn't really say. She was there many times with her husband, an archaeologist. He died a long time ago. I heard something about a reception at the Egyptian Museum? Yes. For the eyes of the Sphinx, or rather, for the eye. But I don't think she'd go to Cairo just for that. She usually stays away from official events. Didn't participate in the literary scene either. Always stayed as far away as possible from high society. Probably because of her stepmother. Hmm. Well, we're learning things. Is it true that you're a war hero? Mm-hmm. In two world wars, 
that tells you how old I must be. <laughs> You're as old as you feel. Oh God, I hope not. <laughs> Aren't you feeling well? You shouldn't uh. burden your pretty little head with the dark thoughts of an old man, my dear. That's awesome. If you don't feel well, maybe you should take it easy. I'm afraid if I take it easy, it'll kill me. <laughs> you seem to be a pessimist. Fatty liver, asthma, gallstones, jaundice, gout, shingles, hemorrhoids, varicose veins, circulatory trouble, knee problems, pulmonary embolism, gastritis, migraine, neuralgia, tinnitus, rheumatism, <laughs> pleurisy, thrombosis, and constipation. Those are what's been diagnosed so far. My body is a curse. Oh, uh, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Wow. Forgive an old man. I, I, I didn't mean to shock you. <laughs> he is having a bad time. You're still the captain of this beautiful ship. Duh. They couldn't just get rid of me, so they stuck me somewhere where I can't make trouble anymore. Don't say that. This ship runs fine without me. The crew knows what to do. They don't need me. They... They don't want me. Aww. Captain! It's, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm burdening you with all of this. Forgive me, eh? I'd like to rest for a while. Soon enough, it'll be time to head back to the coal face. Eh? <laughs> I do like the level of dialogue Captain and character Captain. development that is here. But, um... Do you know Albrecht Dura? Yes, an artist. Not bad. But he has his weaknesses as well. For example? For one, he wasn't Italian. <laughs> That's a pity. You can say that again. <laughs> At least he lived in Italy for a while. What else can you tell me about him? I once overheard an argument on board between a German and a Spaniard about who elevated the woodcut to an art form. Albrecht Dürer or Alberto Durero. Eventually, they realized they were talking about the same man. Ha! Albrecht Dürer is called Alberto. That's right. Oops. Don't ask me why. It's because of how they pronounce things in between the different languages. But yeah, there you go. Guernica, does that mean anything to you? Not a harbor that I've ever talked at. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Well, the German Do definitely you know didn't care for that word. Is she a Greek queen? No, she... Oh, never mind. I'm going to go have a look around. All right. all right. That was a whole lot of dialogue, but I love how we're learning more about these characters. Like, it's just getting that much cooler that, that it's getting fleshed out, and it's just so unfortunate that it took them three parts to do it. I'm still a firm believer that this game should have all been one big game instead of three Dr. chapters. Gebhardt. Yes. Let's aggravate this guy a little bit. I was talking to the captain. He didn't look well. Is he sick? I am sure you will understand that I cannot discuss the medical history of one of my patients with you. Why? Do you think I'm too stupid? Uh, huh. I didn't mean that. It is a matter of confidentiality. I asked whether the captain is ill and you called him one of my patients. Haven't you already answered my question? What do you want? I ought to be going. <laughs> Thank uh, God. I love that. I ought to be going. Thank God. Okay, so what have we learned so far? We've learned Lion, we've learned Michelangelo. Oh, he's a deal. having a shower. Yes? I almost got caught in the Baroness's cabin. What happened? I don't know. A man came in and I just had time to hide under the bed. Maybe it was a steward who came to clean the cabin? And turn on a tape recorder in the cupboard? Huh. Maybe it was Inch. He wanted some music? There was nothing on the tape. It was playing, but I didn't hear anything. Something is rotten here. Don't bother your pretty little head about it. Swap the eye People and say that to her back. a lot. I've got a surprise for you. Oh God. <laughs> I don't think your surprise will really surprise me. <laughs> the secret <laughs> compartment is secured with a combination lock. Is there any way in? Not without leaving evidence. I need the combination. <sighs> Are there any hints? A memory aid consisting of several works of art. There are animals on the lock. 
The works of art might hint at specific animals. You don't say, genius. I've already got that far. About the combination. Yes. Okay. Nefertiti, I don't know. Alberto Durero. What about him? What's his most famous work? Uh, hard to say. He did a lot. He was a pioneer of woodcuts and printmaking. The Baroness left his monogram as a hint, not the name of one of his artworks. So there must be a painting that everyone associates with him. <sighs> not to my knowledge. Although he did have a favorite motif. And that was? Oh, himself. He made quite a few self-portraits. That's it. The artist is the art. Sounds logical. His most famous self-portrait is in the Prado in Madrid. I saw it with my own eyes two years ago. Does Madrid have something like a heraldic animal? Sure, it's, it's a bear. It's on the coat of arms and all over all the right. city. Brilliant. The bear. Okay, so I we've got lion and bear. One more animal. Mm, well, we can figure out Nefertiti, Does but he's Nefertiti not going to help. Does Nefertiti mean anything to you? Mm, an Egyptian queen. That's it. I didn't have an affair with her, if that's what you mean. <laughs> she's not my type. And she's been dead for thousands of years. Well then, I'll take your word for it. All right, how about Guernica. this one? Guernica. Sounds Spanish, doesn't it? Yes, it's a city in the Basque region. Does it have a heraldic animal? Or maybe the region has one? I don't know. I've, I've never been there. I just know it because the city was bombed by the Nazis during the Spanish Civil War. Nazis? In the Spanish Civil War? Well, not officially, of course. At the request of General Franco, his friends from Germany reduced a defenseless city to ashes and rubble. Picasso hmm. immortalized the bombing in his famous painting. Really? Which was? Is it on display in Spain? Silly. As long as Franco is in charge, he won't allow that. Where is it? Ah, oh, no idea. Paris, maybe? Picasso lived there for a long time. Hmm. Maybe. Doesn't help me much. Okay. I'll be going. Don't waste all the hot water. Never. Okay. Let's examine the suitcase since I can. I always try to carry if my things were... Okay, yeah, we already heard all that. Hmm. Well, we've learned a lot. We still need to figure out one more animal. So what I'm going to do is, since we've uh, run our course on time here, we're going to end the video kind of right where we ended the last one, standing in the cabin here, and we'll be back with more as we continue the story. Thanks for watching, peoples.